Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today we're going to be talking about our Google Classroom teacher tip number five. So this one is also just a way to jazz things up on your Google Classroom page and it's not really useful but it's again something just kind of fun that you can do um, using a couple of different methods. So um, by default you can select a theme. So you can select a theme and it'll give you a couple of choices. They're all very stylized and very simple. Um, part of that is because obviously for the most part you want things to be readable, right? But if you want to personalize your banner, here's something that you can do. And so I'm going to give you a little bit more information than you probably need, but you can make something that is a virtual classroom. Uh, one of the important things to realize is that um, the banner size is a very odd size here. Okay, so when you go here, um, you can actually change the size of a Google slide. Okay, so if you go to page setup, it'll let you select, you know, standard, widescreen, etc. But then you can go to custom. And so if you do custom, you would need to select a width of 16.67 and a height of 4.17 inches. Again, you can do that in instead centimeters or, you know, points or even pixels like this. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I just used inches because it was the first thing that kind of came up. And then you can design your slide. Okay, and so what I decided to do was to go a step further and to make it an animated GIF. And it's probably something that you would not really see normally, let's say, um, at the top of like something for a Google Classroom page. But what I did was I slightly changed things each slide so that the fire extinguisher is releasing some of the you know gas here and you've got Bunsen burners and stuff burning in the background. So how do you turn something like this into an animated GIF? Well there is a free website that can turn any Google slide presentation into an animated GIF and so it's called talltweets.com. What you're going to do is it's going to ask you to sign in with your Google account that you're using and then you're going to select a presentation. So normally this button would say like sign in with Google. You go to select presentation. It'll automatically filter your drive for any presentations you have and I think I called mine animated. So I'm going to search for animated. There we go. And then I selected it and I hit save. And so what it's going to do is it's going to take those little slides that were individual and it's going to turn that into a playable animated GIF. Once it does that it's going to save it to your uh, downloads or it's going to save it to your hard drive. It's going to save it in some way shape or form. Um, again it's going to ask for some information about the width of it um, if you want to customize that a little bit. Um, all I want to do though and, oh, and the slide duration like how long do you want this uh, to be. So um, here's what I'll do. I'll do slide duration in seconds. Um, let's do half a second and let's create the GIF. GIF created. All right. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. And like it says, it's going to be downloading it somewhere. And so it looks like it downloaded it to my downloads folder. And so all I would need to do is go to now upload a photo. It's going to say you could drag it. All right, I will drag that right here. And now we've got an animated GIF. And notice that um, what it does is when you upload a photo, it'll automatically darken it a little bit in order to make that um, readable, the text that's under it readable. All right. And so that's how you can make an animated GIF, or even if you just wanted to instead have a static image, how you can change your um, banner at the top of your Google Classroom page. If you have any questions, let me know.